All right, well, we're inside the high tunnel now, and uh, I kind of want to give you a little tour. It's, uh, it's 34 outside, and it's a balmy 70 in here. Uh, so I may break out in a sweat in a little bit if I keep moving around too much. But uh, the sun's supposed to come out. It's not even out yet. And I'm sure once it does, this is going to zoom right up to uh, 80 degrees. Uh, the soil temperature is about 60 right now. Uh, let me show you a few things. This is our north point, 26 foot wide. Uh, the reason why I didn't put a 30 foot up, which is the optimal size structure for growing, is that I just didn't have the space. Just not enough space here in the yard, but I would have put a 30 up if I could have. This 26 has been raised 18 inches. Uh, I suppose if I had to do it again, I would have gone up two feet because that's, that's most of what everybody does. Now, the reason why I did go up 18 inches and I would have gone up two feet, another six inches more, is so that I could have a nice vertical wall going down the side so that I could put plants closer to the wall and have greater head height. Um, also to walk, uh, to, uh, to uh, use a cart to retrieve uh, and harvest the vegetables. So this is up 18 inches. Uh, this has our diagonal wind bracing on it to keep the movement. It also has the truss supports with truss braces on every bow except the end bows. So this is a beefy house. For cooling it has a roll-up side, and it has uh, some of our woven po poly material for to seal the uh, end of the roll-up sides to keep the air from getting inside the curtains. But during the winter, these are sealed off anyways. Uh, this is the double wire base that we use for our roll-up sides. Uh, this also has aluminum shutters in the gable and then lastly we put on our ridge bed. Now as I said this is a research greenhouse so you'll see things on here that we're not selling yet. This is a small motor that we are in test phase right now to determine uh, its uh, longevity. So far, so good after one year. Uh, the ridge vent uh, is the obvious best way to cool a high tunnel. However, it's the most expensive. So most people don't get that. But we're trying to make it more affordable. Now, other things we have on here are roll-up doors. This one is insulated. Plyco passenger doors with a window. And then down at the other end of the structure, we have our last two high tunnel doors, which are made by uh, HC Quality Doors out of Pennsylvania. And we have a passenger door, and then we have a double sliding door.